If you have not started cyber stalking your potential clients, your current clients, and for you meeting planners out there, your members and delegates, then this week's Two Minute Tip Tuesday video might be just for you. Stick around. Hey friends, it's Leanne, and you've heard me talk about the value of connecting with clients and potential clients and for meeting planners, even their meetings and delegates on a more relational level. And when you look at their social media profiles, be it on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you can start to learn a little bit more about these people as persons and not just as commodities. And when you start to learn more about them as a person, then you're able to tailor the things that you're providing them, whether it's a value proposition or even as a meeting planner, the way you're delivering the content and the format of your programming. So it really speaks to some of the things that they're interested in. Today, we're gonna look at how to dig deeper into someone's LinkedIn profile to figure out what it is they're really interested in. And then you can use those nuggets of information to either tailor your programming or tailor your sales pitch. So here we go. So what we're looking for here, it's a bit like a treasure hunt or playing detective. You're going to be snooping around and looking for clues and starting to weave a story together about what this person is all about based on their social media activity. And the platform we're doing today is LinkedIn, not because it's my favorite. Well, actually, because it is my favorite. Um, but there's a lot you can learn on LinkedIn, especially on the professional level about what your people are interested in. So let's start from the top. Remember, if you are connected on a first level with someone on LinkedIn, their activity is gonna show up in your feed. But that doesn't mean you can't view the activity of someone who is a second or third level connection. It just means you need to dig a little deeper. Now, if you're wanting to connect with someone and, and create a first level connection with someone, I did a video actually just last week about the do's and don'ts of sending LinkedIn invitations. So you can find that video in the description. But if you just like to take a look at their profile, file, you can do so. So what you do is you go straight to their profile. And if you start to scroll down into their profile, you're going to start to see their activity. And some of them also have written articles and you can view some content that they've written, but you can take a look at all of the activity they've done on LinkedIn um, by pressing see all activity. If someone is very active on LinkedIn, chances are you're going to find something of common ground in their activity that you can relate to. And again, for meeting planners, maybe they're starting to suggest or talk about certain things that you can now address at the conferences that you're planning for them. But if you're not finding anything in their activity, there's still another route and this is where we're going to next. Go back to the top of their profile and now you're going to scroll all the way down, 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 keep going down. You're going to find their other interests. When you click see all, it'll pull up the things they're following, including influencers, companies, groups, schools. And once again, this is a treasure chest full of stuff you can now use to create value for your clients and prospects. And for meeting planners who are researching delegates, you can find common themes between your delegates, who they follow, and potentially even some keynote speaker or breakout speaker suggestions for you. If you are currently using LinkedIn as a research tool, will you let me know the things that you're discovering or some of the ways that you're using it to find the information that you need? Share it with the community below here. LinkedIn isn't the only social media platform that you can use to research people. There's other platforms as well, but I find LinkedIn is most rich in professional content. And these are things that you can turn into professional value for those folks. If you haven't already, follow me over on LinkedIn or find Stephen and I's LinkedIn page. We post articles up there for meeting planners to use in their daily work. Thanks for watching this week's Two Minute Tip Tuesday. Have a great week. Bye for now. Thank you.